Yes, I know it's Thursday, and I say I'm going to do the videos on Friday, but you know what? I say Friday because I usually start working on the video, finalizing the script, recording, editing, uploading. You know, it takes time to make these videos. So I say Friday even though I'm usually doing most of the work on Thursday, just because for those few times when I don't actually finish early, and I, I don't want to be late and put it on Friday even though I said Thursday, so I just say Friday, and if I happen to finish on a Thursday, I upload it. That's just how it is. Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Fan Perspective. I am your host Nathan Lyle here with another edition of WNBA Weekly and here's what happened this week in the association. On Tuesday, Seattle seemed to have a pretty good handle on this game but Washington came back to force overtime where once again Seattle dominated and the Mystics had four players scoring double figures including Crystal Langhorn who led the way with 23 points and 7 rebounds but the ageless wonder Tina Thompson led the way with 30 points and 8 rebounds while Tanisha Wright also chipped in 17 points and 6 assists as the Storm win 96 to 86 and then on Wednesday Maya Moore came out strong and had a double double in the first half as she and Tarasi were dueling it out early, this, this, the game was close most of the way before the Lynx broke away in the fourth and finished strong. Maya Moore had a big game and led the team in every category with 26 points, 16 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and a block. As the Lynx win 80-69. to Then on Thursday, the story in this game was that those girls in the middle duking it out. Uh, Sylvia Fowles led the sky with 17 points and 12 rebounds and 5 blocks, while Gloria Johnson added 14 points despite having 6 of her shots blocked and 10 rebounds as Tosa shocked the hell out of me beating the sky 83-74, to but hey, that's why they play the game, any given Sunday, except that's football, so really this one's any given Thursday, except, you know, WNBA is basically any given day of the week, except Monday, because for some reason the WNBA just doesn't like playing games on Monday. Anyways, now that I've gone on that little tangent, here are the league's current standings. With that in mind, we're going to cut ahead real quick and just look at a few of the games to look forward to over the weekend. And some of these games are actually going to be broadcast nationally this weekend, so if you get the chance, I hope you definitely get to check them all out. First of all, we have on Friday, Seattle at San Antonio, two teams playing without their superstars, looking to grab some wins. This game will be shown on NBA TV at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that both of these teams have had their ups and downs and found ways to win big games. So despite not ha being the biggest headline grabber, it should be an intriguing matchup with plenty of big plays. Next you've got Washington at Phoenix. Ivory Ladder leads the Mystics into Phoenix to take on Diana Taurasi and the Mercury. This game will air on NBA TV at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that the Mercury have gotten their act together after a slow start and the Mystics have performed pretty well so far in this young season. And then next you have Minnesota at Los Angeles. Maya Moore and the Lynx head into Los Angeles to take on Candace Parker and the Sparks as the top two teams in the Western Conference go head to head. This game begins at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and my preview here is that Minnesota continues to be a dominant team and it's hard for anyone to match up with but if anyone can do it Candace Parker can. Then on Saturday you've got a couple of interesting games. The first one is Chicago at Indiana. Elena Deladon leads the Chicago Sky into Indiana to take on Tamika Catchings and the defending champs. This game will air on NBA TV at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that both of these teams are currently on losing streaks and looking to turn that around. Personally right now with the fever still banged up I have trouble believing they'll be able to compete. But hey, you never know what happens till they play the game. Then you've got Seattle at Tulsa. Tina Thompson and the Storm head into Tosa to take on Glory Johnson and the Shock, who are looking to climb out of the basement. This game begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My preview is that, well honestly, if I'm being 100% honest with you, there is nothing truly exciting to offer about this game. I mean, there's nothing here that I really want to pay attention to. But hey, that's just one man's opinion. I mean, I never thought my summer would get so busy that I would be skipping work and still fall behind on their schedule. But that's a little bit too much information. You don't need to know about that. 
On Sunday, we've got four games scheduled. The first one, San Antonio at New York. Danielle Robinson and the Silver Stars head into New York to take on Cappy Pondexter and the Liberty. This game begins at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that the Liberty have started their season off well, while the Stars have struggled without their leaders on the floor. And I think these teams match up well against each other, and the outcome should be interesting. That's all I've got to say about it. And then you've got Atlanta at Connecticut. Andrew McCautry leads the first place dream into Connecticut where Tina Charles hopes to get the Sun on a winning streak. This game begins at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that despite how well Tina Charles has played, the Sun are fighting to stay out of the bottom of the league while Angel McCautry has given MVP performances and led the dream to the top record in the league. And I don't see that changing over the weekend. Next, you've got Tulsa and Minnesota. Skylar Diggins faces off against Lindsey Whalen as the top teams in, in the West faces the lowest seed in the West. This game will be aired on NBA TV at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the preview for this is, well, honestly, do I really have to say it? I mean, on paper, this game looks like it'll be a blowout, but the Shock have played well in spurts, so don't count them out completely. And then finally, you've got Washington at Los Angeles. Ivory Ladder leads the Mystics into Los Angeles to take on Candace Parker and the Sparks. This game begins at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my preview is that these teams are both currently second place in their respective conferences. So there should be some good plays on both ends of the floor. You know, just enjoy a great matchup. I'm not going to try to predict this yet. Well, that's it for this week. Tune in on Monday for another brand new edition of WNBA Weekly. And until then, my name is Liston Lyle. This has been the Fan Perspective. I hope you enjoy your weekend. When you get the chance, try to check out some of these games if you can. And don't forget, if you haven't already, go to WNBA.com. You can go there once a day and vote for your favorite players to go to the All-Star Game.